Hi, I'm Captain Chang. If you are watching this, chances are you probably watched one of my other videos discussing the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Coursera, which I finished in five days. I'm here to tell you about another online cybersecurity course and certificate you can get. This one from ISC2, the Organization of Cybersecurity Professionals. It's called Certify in Cybersecurity, or just CC. Certify in Cybersecurity. You're probably groaning already. Another one. There's the Google one, there's the IBM one, there's the Microsoft one, and then there's this one. There are probably a few others. But here's the difference. This one is from ISC2, and the training is free. And you can also get the exam, which makes you an actual, which makes it an actual certification exam, also free. Zero dollars. And what's best? You don't even have to go through Coursera to get it. Let me show you how. This is ISC2's website. Note the URL. It will be down in the link and I'll probably pop it up in the uh, upper corner uh, so you can get a, a pop-up. Anyway, ISC2 is giving away 1 million entry-level cybersecurity training and certification in the Certify in Cybersecurity certification. This is their intro certification. Obviously, it's probably not going to be worth a lot you probably will not find a job with this alone, but as I said, this is an intro level certification, an entry level certification training. And as I said, they are giving this 1 million of these away, including the exam. The exam is actually held at a Pearson View test facility and it normally costs 200 they're giving it away for free as well as the training and what do you need to do very simple you have to create an account at isc2 or log in complete your isc2 candidate application form and select certified in cybersecurity as your certification interest once the application is complete, you are now an ISC2 candidate member. And you, it's free for one year. You will get free access. And then basically it goes like this. Now let me show you what I do when I am actually logged in. Once you're in, uh, I'm, I have to blurt out everything. Anyway. You go to your profile and then you go to your benefits page and your benefits page looks like this. And notice here, free access to official ISC2 online self-paced training. See this? Now available in English, Chinese, German, Japanese, and Spanish. Plus the free registration to take the Certified in Cybersecurity exam. And then all the other training, it will take 20% off. Simple, right? Once you click through here, you'll end up here at this page. I already completed all the classes, by the way, which is why everything is all checked. But when it began, you'll get nothing, basically zero of which. Uh, don't worry about 51 topics. Each of the topics you can probably do in, in a couple of minutes. The only really big test that you have to do is at this course conclusion where you have to take a 75 question exam. Technically, there is no time limit and there is no, uh, I mean, technically nothing is going to stop you from cheating, uh, going back to refer to, but remember, when you go to a real testing center, you're not gonna get to do that. So don't cheat yourself out of that, okay? Do it for real. Do it on the computer, go straight through, take the test. You have two hours, but if you take more than one hour to do a 75 question exam, I would say you probably did not study that hard. I think I finished uh, all 75 questions in about 
25, 30 minutes. No, probably even faster than that. And I got 96%. So, done. Again, go to the URL, log in, and click on the click on the uh, join as a member, and then uh, go to the benefits. And there is the program. There is the uh, self-paced uh, training with the 1M version. Yes, you could take the Coursera version. That would be this one. But I find this one not as good. The reason being, it forces you to do peer-reviewed versions of a certain test. And let's just say you rely on other people grading your submissions. And that means you have to wait like anywhere between 48 to 72 hours or even longer for somebody to grade your submissions. And let's just say that does not result, that, that means uh, you, you will be waiting extra days. You cannot be done in like uh, two or three days. I actually finished all, my, all, all of my assignments in three days, but uh, I'm waiting now for them to finish the peer review so I can get it all done. Uh, I got uh, three out of five, and uh, that is just very annoying. Anyway, as I said, please go take the official version. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the ISC2 uh, square is uh, very, they're very security conscious. They time you out if you don't, you're not there for almost like a bank. Anyway, and I would say the video is better in this one. Uh, and there's no peer reviewed version in the ISC2 uh, official version of the training. So you don't have to worry about somebody else grading and they don't speak English and uh, they don't read English and stuff like that. Don't worry about it. Uh, the ISC2 version is much better. Remember, completely free, unlike the Coursera version, which you have to speed run, and no time limit. Once you do, register for the exam. Uh, do the regist register for the exam at your local facility. I already did mine. I'll be taking it in about 48 hours. Please go take the ISC2 version. Uh, this is a free certification you can get, completely free, including the free actual sit-down exam, which you will probably need to do if you ever go for the Security Plus. Similar to this, except the exam format and topics will be slightly different, but they cover roughly the same thing. But you can never study a little too much for this, right? This, uh, okay, I can see a lot of people is going to be asking me which is going to be more, worth more. Uh, the Google one, this one, IBM one, or the Microsoft one. Why don't you start with this one first since this is free? It, I think going to take a real exam in a testing facility is going to be better for you. Uh, no, don't do the one at home. Go to a real center and take the test at the real center, the testing center. You'll be more familiar with the uh, how the testing is done and uh, you will become more comfortable when you need to take tests like that. Obviously, uh, you don't take tests at a corporate environment, but that's what the standard test is about. And as I said, if you ever go for a Security Plus, uh, you will end up doing the same tests at a testing center. Anyway, as I said, uh, I finished the ISC2 version in two days, technically one full day, because uh, as I said, I already went through the Coursera version, which covers mostly the same thing. And I did the Coursera version in three days. So anyway, uh, is the IC2 going to be worth it? I don't know. And I'm just being honest here. This is an intro certification. You and if you when you're approved and you pass the exam, you're only a candidate member. Most of the ISC2 uh, actual certifications like CISSP, those require working in the industry for a couple years and actually uh, getting a real cybersecurity job. But on the other hand, 
getting and even becoming an even an intro certification within the ISC2 is going to give you much better connections than just getting a certificate off of Coursera, in my honest opinion. And obviously the CISSP is pretty much what everybody really wants. That's almost like a god tier level certification in uh, cybersecurity. Obviously nothing beats practical experience, but it's with practical experience that you actually get certified in CISSP, among other things. Uh, you can probably go look through the ISC2 uh, website yourself and see what they offer. And remember, once you join as a candidate member, you get, uh, where was that, uh, candidate benefits. Yep, save 20% on self-paced or instruct instructor-paced uh, training, but those but the instructor pays when they're expensive. I'm just warning you. But you also get like think tank and security briefing webinars and uh, knowledge vaults and uh, member pricing on ISC2 events. And yes, you do get a digital batch and you get uh, textbook discounts as well. But you know, these textbooks are expensive as heck. But anyway, uh, there are plenty of uh, items that uh, there are benefits. It's just up to you to find them. And if you want to volunteer to certain uh, certain items uh, for, for certain events, you do get a digital badge. The truth is the badge is actually not that uh, funky. It's actually just a little digital badge on Credly. Uh, you might have seen it before if you uh, take uh, badge, you take uh, uh, Coursera courses before. Uh, they send a digital badge to Credly, and uh, that just lets you verify the stuff easier. But then it's just another thing to put on your LinkedIn resume. Kind of interesting. Anyway, folks, uh, I hope you find this uh, video useful. Uh, as I said, this is free, free cybersecurity training. And you get to take a free exam at a testing center, which is pretty invaluable because it, if you're new to this kind of certification, it is a good way to test. It's basically like an SAT test, you know, like, uh, except you no longer use number two pencils and you don't use the Scantron stuff. It's all now probably on a computer. As I said, you get free training, free test, and all you need to do is click on the Get Started button. You do get extra if you want to pay for better, even better training, but personally, that just means you pay for a extra chance to pass the test, but uh, you don't really need that, do you? Anyway, go get certified. And maybe in the future, I'll go to try the IBM and the Microsoft uh, Coursera courses as well. And in the meanwhile, I just have to wait for somebody to keep grade on my peer uh, review assignment so I can finally get the other certificate done. Anyway, as I said, go get certified, click on get, get started on IC2, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, folks, bonus content. Uh, I just came back out from the uh, exam. It uh, only took me 40 minutes to go through 100 questions. Yes, it's not 75 questions, it's 100 questions. 25 of the questions are experimental, but they are not telling you which ones. So you have to treat all of the questions seriously. I obviously cannot tell you about the content of the test, but I will tell you, pay extra attention to the OSI model. There will be several questions about which is on what layer, and uh, multiple choice. And uh, yeah, there will be several questions on the OSI network model. Yes, all seven layers.
you need to know which one is which and which layer is filtering what and things like that. Also, uh, if you want to go back to your questions and review your answers, be very careful. I was not able to go back and review my answers. Repeat, I was not able to go back and review my answers. I was told after the exam has finished that I should have flagged the questions if I am not sure about my answers. Unfortunately, I was not given any instructions on how to flag the questions either. If you want to go back to your questions and review your answers, ask first on how to do that. Anyway, thank you all for listening. Get tested and get certified. And I will see you in the next one.